Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. All right, so today's video, this is actually just a completely impromptu um, update slash kind of day in the life, whatever you want to call it. I just thought I would pop in a couple clips, give you guys a video. Actually, what started this is I was going to do my nails and I've had several comments since I did the get ready with me. If you haven't seen that, I will have a link in the description box for it. But um, after I did the get ready with me, I had several people say, hey, we would like to see you do your nails. Well, there's really nothing to it, but whatever. Like, why not? Let's do it. You know what I mean? It's gorgeous outside today. It has been so, so smoldering. Do you hear me? When I say smoldering, I'm talking about so hot. Here in Tennessee, for the past like two weeks straight, we've had no rain, no nothing. Well, yesterday, honey, it poured rain and it's been gorgeous today. It's, I don't even know what the temperature is, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sweating, at least. We'll put it that way. Anyways, it's beautiful outside. I was actually going to sit out here on the deck. I'm outside of the cabin, as you can tell, but I was going to sit out here on the deck and um, do my nails. And that's when I was like, you know what? I should just set the camera up and like go for it. So that's the beginning of this video. I have no idea what else will you will see as to come. I'll add some more to this, but anyways, that's where we're going to start. So let's jump in. Okay. So I was going to show you guys some of the products that I'm going to be using before like we get started. So that way you would know what, what, where to get these if you want to purchase something or whatever, but it's only two things. So it's really not that big of a deal. But I did think that I would show you that and also tell you that I have already, like, I had on fake nails. Um, I always wear press-ons, okay, which I use glue. You'll see that here in just a minute. But anyways, um, when they start to pop off themselves, you know, like within a couple days, I change them. I know you guys know that because even in my DIY videos, sometimes, like, you go from one DIY to the next or halfway through the DIY my nails change, <laughs> but I just like for them to look good all the time. And it's so cheap and quick. Like I, it doesn't take me no time to do it. So I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm obsessed with my fingernails or something. Cause I just love doing my nails. I really like keeping them done. And I used to go and have them done, um, at the nail salon. Like I would have when actually when I waited tables, I always kept my nails done at the nail salon, but it just got to be like so expensive. And then I got to where I was breaking a nail a week after I got them. You know, I just spent $65 and boom, I've broken a nail a week later. So I'm having to go get it fixed or go get them filled or, you know, it just got to where it was like ridiculous, honestly. So anyways, I kind of watched a couple YouTube videos and then went for it, started doing it myself. So here we go. All right. So first off, the nails that I'm going to be using are the um, Dashing Diva Magic Press. These are so stinking cute, y'all. Look at how cute. Ah, so, so cute. Now, these are long, and I don't typically wear the long ones. I always try to get, like, medium length or even the short ones a lot, especially if I'm going to be doing a lot of DIYs that week. I'll make sure and get a bunch of short ones. But I do like to um, wear the long ones sometimes. And for the next couple of days, I've got to do a lot of editing and stuff. So, I'm good for a couple of days. I thought these would be cute. But I got these at Sally's. You know, like the hair place, they sell nails as well. And I got these at Sally's, but I think you can also get these at Walmart. But like normal, I will have a link in the description box for them on Amazon. You can also get them on Amazon. Anyways, the glue that I'm going to be using is this Kiss Maximum Speed. This is just regular nail glue. Now, I'll tell you what. So... I got a hair in my mouth. Um, so I used to use, some of y'all are going to be like, oh my gosh. I used to use Gorilla Glue, Super Glue, like the Gorilla brand Super Glue for my nails. When I first started doing them, that's what I used. And I ruined my fingernails. Like it was bad. They got so paper thin and it was just not good. I was probably poisoning myself at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, so I stopped doing that and I started using just regular nail glue. And now like after I take my nails off, they don't look great, but like I'll file, like, like I said before, I've already filed my nails. Like I took a, you know, a um, emery board and just 
buffed them off just to get the glue off, just to get the um, nail glue off. So they don't look great, but I trust me, they do not look near as bad as what they did whenever I was using the um, Gorilla Glue. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. But anyways, this I just picked up at the Dollar General store. Literally come from Dollar General. Super, super simple stuff. Um, I've got a little microfiber towel here that's got um, a little bit of um, alcohol on it. And I just like to wipe my nails after I have um, buffed them. I like to wipe them off with alcohol because number one, it dries really quick. You don't wanna wash your hands or get your nails wet before you apply your nails. And I typically try not to get my hands wet. Um, like say if I washed my hands, I would wait a good hour, two hours, literally guys, for my nails to completely be dry before I put my fingernails on. Because if your nails are the slightest bit wet, it's just not gonna hold as well, I promise. There are a couple little tricks to this. I mean, it's super simple and very quick, but there are a couple little, you know, little tweaks to it that will help your nails stay on better and last longer. So be sure that your fingernails are very, very dry. Um, like I said, you just wanna wipe them off real good, maybe with some alcohol or even some acetone. You know, fingernail polish remover also will evaporate. So you just wanna wipe them off good. Make sure they're not wet and that you've wiped off any kind of dust from where you have buffed them. And say like in your case, maybe you didn't have um, fake nails on prior to this and you're just now going to put on your nails. Um, you still wanna buff them a little bit and kind of rough them up. I don't mean like tear your nails up, but I'm saying just buff them a little bit with the um, fingernail file, emery board, whatever you wanna call it and get them just a little bit textured. That way the glue, like it sets better. It sticks better, like the bond is better. Um, it's like painting something, you know what I mean? You wanna kind of rough it up a little bit or say you're gluing um, E6000 to metal. You're gonna rough that spot up first before you put the glue on. Does that make sense? That was like completely off the wall <laughs> analogy there with <laughs> the metal and the E6000. But I'm just saying, you wanna rough it up a little bit before you put the glue on. So now that my fingers are dry, they have been filed, buffed down a little bit. I got all the glue off. I did wipe them off really good and make sure they're super dry. Now we're gonna start applying the nails. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just dump this out. And these actually come with a little emery board and a cuticle pusher. I don't typically do the cuticle pusher, and I'm sure that um, <clears throat> it would look much more professionally done if you do the cuticle pusher, but I don't really have, like, major cuticles, so... Yeah, see, I like it. I don't really, I don't know. I don't, but anyway, so whatever. But you can use the little thing. And this actually has a little prep pad in it as well. Back behind there, there's a little um, prep pad that has some acetone on it to wipe your nails off. So I'm just gonna pour them out and figure out which ones are gonna fit my fingers and which colors I want where but I just lay them out, I turn them all over. Most of most nails have numbers on them so that you can match them up just right, you know? But most of them have um, numbers. Okay, and something else I wanted to tell you about these particular nails is these nails, as you can see there, let me put it right up there. So it's got that little tab there. Well, that's because we're gonna have to peel that off because there's like glue already on the nail back behind that. So there's glue already on the nail, um, and that is so that you can just press these on. But I like to use the glue as well and make them a little bit more permanent, if that makes sense. I don't feel like the um, um, just the glue that they put on these, I don't feel like it's enough for my nails, at least. They don't, it doesn't hold as well.
So let me just dig through here and figure out which ones I want and where. Okay, so like I said before, I'm just going to go through and find which nail fits which finger. Like I'm just going through and kind of fitting them to my nails to figure out which nail I want for, you know, each finger and for both hands. And then once I get them all laid out, I'm going to go back through and peel that little plastic um, backing off of each of the nails. That way I've got them ready to go. As soon as I get the glue on my fingers, I can just place them right down. All right, so now I'm just gonna literally put a little dab of glue. Oh, I have a bubble. Just one little dot of glue, because like I said, it does have um, glue on the back of it. And then I'm just gonna press it down, line it up with my natural nail and hold it. Now here's another trick. So once you get it right where you want it, going to hold it into place but you want to hold this for about 30 seconds i know that seems like a long time per finger but just count it out one one thousand two one thousand <laughs> it'll be all right but i swear it makes them stay on so much better if you just really hold it into place and give it time for that bond to set set in it makes a huge difference in the longevity of your nails i promise oh i about glued my finger to it anyways but that's it i just one by one go through and add one little dot of the glue now if you get any extra glue like say like i did right there i'm just going to take this file and file that right off It's not always perfect, guys. It's not always perfect. But we're going to get it as close to as we can. All right. So like I said before, I'm just going to go through and add a little bit of glue, then place the, the nail on top of my natural nail. I'm just lining it up with my natural nail and then holding it into place for 30 seconds. It's that simple. Move on to the next finger, add a little touch of glue, place the nail on top of my natural nail, make sure that it's lined up just right, and then hold it into place for 30 seconds. Guys, it's that simple. I go through and do each individual finger like this. It is that simple. Okay, so my nails are done. I love the way that they look. I think they're so cute. You guys um, totally disregard the cuts on my finger. I got in a fight with a box cutter. We'll just put it like that. <laughs> Anyways, I love my nails. I think they look super, super stinking cute. Um, it's just a quick, uh, fairly inexpensive. I believe the nails were about six bucks. And that nail glue is like a dollar and something. But now the nail glue lasts several, you know, you could uses. And also, um, the nails, I can actually use those nails twice. So, if one pops off, one breaks, um, you know, whatever, I want to replace the entire set, I do have another set in there because there's 30 nails in that particular little box. So, anyways, I love the nails. I think they look so, so darling. I'm so digging the, like, pastel colors. I needed to have done so. It looks so cute with my shirt today, by the way. But I'm going to be redoing them probably very soon because I want to do something cute for the 4th of July. So, if I think of it, I will definitely give you all a little, um, little show of nails for the 4th of July. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I guess that was all of that. I just, uh... I wanted to share this with y'all. Like I said, I've had several people leave it in the comment section. Like, hey, how do you do your nails? I'd love to see you do your nails. Um, the get ready with me videos are so, so fun to do. And stuff like that is good for me. You know what I mean? Like, I have to stay busy. I've got to keep my mind on something else. And working is is something that I do enjoy. So, it's it kind of comes natural, like, to just keep pushing. You know what I mean? And like I've said before, and I will say this at the top of a mountain, God is my strength. That is for sure. There is absolutely no way that I could go through all of this without God. It's There's just no way. 
for sure. But anyways, we're all doing pretty good. Um, yeah, things are starting to look up for us, you know. Sorry if you hear the for the fireworks in that. We were just talking about the 4th of July. How random is that? And then fireworks go off. That's funny. I bet that's my nephews, too. <laughs> Anyways, um, but like I was saying, things are looking up for us. They are. Um, I've got a few updates on the house that I, I forgot about that I will be including in this video. So, stay tuned for that. Are y'all believing that? I never, ever, hardly ever film outside except for right by the lake. This is hilarious. Anyways, as I was saying, things are looking up for us. And I'm really just trying to stay positive and just do the best that I can. I mean, I don't feel like the Lord expects anything more from me than to do the best that I can. So I'm not going to hold it against myself if I don't have it all together right now. You know what I mean? I, I'm just going to do the best that I can. That's all I can do. Yeah. Anyways. All right. So, let's just keep going with the video. Um, I do want to show you all a couple of things with the house. So, let's head over there now. Okay, so obviously we're in the car. Um, we're fixing to head over to the house. I wanted to show y'all just like one small little update that we did have this week. Um, we've been waiting on the trusses. It's just a waiting game now because it's really hard to get supplies in, guys. It really is. Like, it takes a long time. So, anyways, I'm just trying to be patient and let it do what it's going to do. You know what I mean? I, I've definitely learned in life to just go with it. <laughs> just, just roll up your sleeves and go with it, you know? Anyways, so yes, we're in the car, but I wanted to um, show y'all something really quick that I did today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look. Oh, look at it. It's got pink in it. I did it for the 4th of July. It's kind of a mauvey red. It's actually rose gold was the color. But how stinking cute is this? <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. My son's girlfriend did this. Yeah, how about that? She's 15 years old, y'all. She did a fantastic job. And, like, the line across the back of my head, because it's just underneath. I only got the underneath portion, so it's not really that much. You know what I mean? Like, it's, well, if you go up under there, it's only about, like, right there. Anyways, I love it. I love it so, so much. And my ponytail looks so, so, so cute. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, how about it? I love it. You have to let me know in the comments what you think. I'm in love with it. I cannot stop playing with it and looking at it. I just think it is so cute. It's just so different. It's something different. Dad gum it. <laughs> I need something different, okay? <laughs> I just got to, you know, I don't know. Like I said before, just go with it. I have definitely learned in life that you cannot plan. You, I mean, Let's be reasonable, but I'm saying don't waste your time worrying about tomorrow because you have no idea what tomorrow will bring. So be present in today. Be present with your family members. Be present with your children. Be present with your spouse, you know? And I'm not trying to sound holier than thou or righteous or anything like that. I'm just saying... God is my strength, and I say that every video, but I cannot explain to y'all how the Lord has just, I don't know, buffered my heart. I don't know how to explain it, but... There's a peace in God that 
surpasses all understanding. There's a Bible verse that says it. Um, I don't, I can't remember the Bible verse right this second. So I'm not going to recall it to you guys, but there's just something that I can't explain that I feel like God is doing in my life and, and, and protecting me from things and coddling me and encouraging me and pushing me and having moments of joy still happen. And when the bad times, you know, when I'm not okay, I'm, I'm telling y'all, the Lord is like coddling me or something. I cannot explain it. I cannot explain it. But my point was, give your work, cast your cares upon the Lord, for he cares for you. That's a Bible verse I do know. <laughs> Give your worries and your troubles to the Lord because you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. And there are so many things that are happening today in the present tense, like right now, in your life, in everybody's life, that we're missing. You know, when crap like this happens, it really makes you sit back and go, man, I wish I'd have done this different and I wish I'd have done that different. And But you can't even, you know, let those kind of troubles worry you or bother you because the end game is heaven. So nothing else matters. I hope you understand what I'm saying. And I'm not trying to have like a Bible study right now. That's not, that's not what's happening. I just am trying to tell y'all how I feel and what's going on with me and be honest and open and hope that it helps one person. Yeah. Okay, so anyways, anyways, y'all, let's start talking about something else, please. Okay, so anyways, we're going to the house right now. We're going to head over there, and I was just going to show y'all, like, that we do have the trusses, and then kind of take y'all inside and show you, like, room by room what's going where and kind of like that. Like, we would just kind of talk about it a little bit because we haven't been over to the new house in a long time. So, we're definitely going to, like, go and have a moment. <laughs> so, go have a moment with me. Here we go. Oh my gosh, they are so long. That's crazy. That's the roof. That is so crazy. Okay, so um, I think where we left off last time in the video, the outside of the house had the paper on it. I remember that. Um, and we came in and talked just for a minute about, like, the living room and the kitchen and dining room. And then that, you know, my window that looks out to the she shed. And then there's going to be the, the double doors. And then eventually, eventually, a deck out there. But we, I am not worried about the porches or nothing like that right now. <laughs> I just want to get in this thing. Ugh. Oh my goodness. We've been at a standstill because the trusses, I mean, it literally took three weeks to get the trusses. That's crazy. Um, and they had been ordered already for like five weeks prior to that. So <laughs> that's even more crazy. So about eight weeks, right? Is that five? And, yeah, five and three. That, okay, yes, eight weeks to get the trusses. That's so crazy. Anyways, so, um, from the living room, you're going to go over into our bedroom, 
This is our bedroom. I'm so excited about this room, y'all. I haven't decided where I want to put the bed and, like, the dresser and all. I just haven't really decided how I want to do it because I love this big window, and I really would like for the bed to be, like, facing that window, but that would mean the bed had to go on this wall, and we're going to have a king-size bed, so I don't know that, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is not a very big wall right here, so I just don't know how it's going to work. And then if I put the bed long ways like this, maybe on this wall so that the window's still, you know, I don't know. I don't know how I want to do it yet. I really have not decided on that. But anyways, and then here's our walk-in closet. We did end up closing off this wall that moves the, um, where you can could have gone from the, utility room straight into the bathroom straight into the closet we did put up one wall um so i'll still be able to get into the bathroom from the utility room but not the closet because i would have lost this entire wall right here and that's a lot of space on both sides you know what i'm saying like a lot of storage space for shelves and and whatnot so especially in the bathroom and then obviously the closet so Anyways, we did go ahead and put a wall up there. Um, and then, of course, the bathroom. Look, there's grass growing, for heaven's sakes, y'all. That's how long we've been waiting on these dad blame trusses. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyways, and then, so, okay, into the utility room. Um, washer and dryer goes over on this wall, I believe. I'm almost positive because it has to be on an outside wall um, because of your dryer, like the dryer vent or whatever. Um, and then this side over here, now this has something to do with our um, our uh, water lines. I don't know what this is, but it's like a, you know how you have an electrical box for all of your electricity? This is like a water box for all of your water or something. I don't know. Something like that. This is something new that they're doing in the houses now, but... Anyways, this wall right here will be pretty much nothing but shelves because this will be the pantry. Um, and then I, there will be a there's a, there will be a wall here. This is the only spot that they they lacked putting the wall up. Of course, they weren't going to come out for one day just to put up one wall. You know what I mean? So when they get the trusses up, this will probably be the first thing to go on up. But anyways, you can see where it's already chalked off. Um, but there, on this wall, I want there to be uh, a counter. So that way I can go from washer and dryer straight over to the counter and then, you know, straight on into the bathroom and the closet. <laughs> Anyways, and then this room is now, since it's, the, it's not going to be the craft room, and y'all listen to this. Okay, so I made this room with two windows in it. Because it was going to be like my little studio. Well, the more natural light you have, the better off you are, okay? When you're trying to film, the it's just trust me on that one. The more natural light you have, way better off you are. So, I had two windows in this room only. Well, now I'm going to be in the she shed that only has two very, very small little windows in it. I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. I'm probably going to have to put up, you know, big overhead um daylight lighting inside there is probably what we'll end up doing but anyways it's okay though because this will end up being the like mud room slash the dog's room and obviously they need plenty of sunshine too so hey the puppy dogs will be happy um I mean, not that they're going to stay in here all the time, just sleeping in here. That, but because we are getting Bella out of our bed, I'm I'm totally over sleeping with the dog, y'all. Oh my gracious, she she's as big as a as a six year old kid for heaven's sakes, and then sleeps just like a, a child, y'all. I swear she does. <laughs> she's all over the bed at night sleeping. All right, so this will be just a little walkway into both kids' bedrooms. I believe this is Gracie's room up front and John Wesley's room back here in the back. And then their bathroom. So, obviously, probably shower and toilet, if I had to guess. Um, 
yeah, and then the sink and stuff. I'm sure that's the way that'll go. And they've got pretty good size closets themselves, actually. It's a pretty good size, pretty long um, closet. I'm proud of that. Very, very proud of that. Oh, I'm so, so ready to get in this house, y'all. You just have no idea. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. But anyway, so yeah, that's all I wanted to show you all for today. But I did want to come over here and at least walk back through and kind of check it out and tell you guys about the trusses and how we had been having to wait on them, you know, and that's what the holdup was. But now that we have those, hopefully they will get started on it next week and it will go much faster after that. But I, I've, I'm, I am patiently waiting as much as I can be patient, if that makes sense. But I'm not like, I don't expect to get in this thing tomorrow. Does that make sense? Like, I kind of expect it to take a while before we're in here. I'm just going ahead and putting myself there because I don't want to be, <laughs> like, disappointed. You know what I mean? So I'm not giving this place a timeline on when it'll be ready. I'm just going with it, y'all. Literally just one day <laughs> at a time. All right. So that was it. I just wanted to one more time come out and give you all a little update on the house all righty bye love y'all okay so one last thing i wanted to share with you guys is that the puppies turned a year old i actually made them this birthday cake it is a peanut butter and honey birthday cake for dogs Booker. Booker. i'll see it you're gonna do it say happy birthday yeah? <laughs> Ready? Yeah, okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear puppies. Happy birthday to you. My bully. Dang. Look at blue. They ain't even made the butter. They just eat my eyes. Y'all, they were so, so sweet with this cake. I just absolutely love it. I think it is the cutest thing ever. And by the way, the icing on top is just heavy whipping cream. That's it. All right, guys, that is all for today. I hope that you all have enjoyed this. I know that I always have a great time putting videos like this together for y'all. So I do hope you enjoyed it. Be sure you do all the things and I will see you next time. Have a blessed day.